The first patient diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease died in 1906. And after 112 years of trying, there is still no cure for the disease. Drug development is very costly. It takes on average $6 billion and over 10 years to develop and test before it fails. And clinical trials keep failing one after another because the selected patients are too advanced in the disease process to show any treatment effect. Alzheimer's is the most expensive disease in the US with one in every five Medicare dollars spent on it. At this rate, unless there is a revolution in the field, this is going to bankrupt the entire healthcare system. But why is there no cure or disease-modifying treatment? It's because there is no early detection method. By the time people are clinically diagnosed, the disease is already too advanced in its process. And clinical trials keep failing again because of the same problem of not having early detection method. So the key is here, early detection method. But how early? By the time signs of memory loss appear, the disease is already too advanced in its process. Damage to the brain starts at the microscopic scale. The scale that cells are arranged at and communicate with each other. But the only way to visualize that small scale is to take out the brain tissue and put it under the microscope. Or to magically create a virtual microscope that can do it non-invasively on a living human brain. The good news is, this revolutionary idea of a virtual microscope is not far off from reality. Today, we are working on a novel outside-the-box approach to make this virtual microscope using just routine clinical brain MRI. By this, we are proposing a new standard for brain health monitoring and screening, paying the way for exciting new treatments, and finally one day, a cure.